Oh boy. I finally, finally get to do this video. I'm just checking behind me to see if the door is open. I get to finally make this video. And today, guys, welcome to the first episode of Sock Talks Indie. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the classic indie game, The Awesome Knots. The year 3587. Conflict spans the stars. Huge armies are locked into an enduring stalemate. Only one force can help them now. The Awesome Knots. So to give a basic explanation of what the gameplay of this game is, basically it's a, I think it's a 4v4 type of game. Four players versus four players, I think. Basically it's a defending, but also sort of, uh, I guess, uh, esports, e almost, almost esports game. But let me tell you, this game was pretty crazy, and I'm pretty sure I was the only person that was playing this game on the 360, which was really funny. Even when you started up the game, it gave you that crazy introduction to, I guess, the story. And, yeah, it gave me chills up my spine when I first heard that, by the way. I can't tell you remember how many characters win this game, but uh, there was a lot of characters, alright? There was, like, tons of characters, and so on and so forth. You, or I believe, I think they would announce the characters every so often. And I'm pretty sure the, the characters were even DLC by then. Man. Remember the simpler times when we didn't have battle passes? And you didn't even have to buy a character as a DLC, but you had to get them from a season? But that's all I can really talk about for the introduction, so let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay of this game is pretty simple. Each separate team has their own towers, in which basically the towers can be damaged by other players, or I guess the op opposite players. And those towers, you can't, I don't think you can, even, you can even upgrade the towers. I'm pretty sure those towers are just like shoot at you and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not that great. But as you do break the towers, they'll slowly get damaged and by then you would go through and uh, yeah, if you damage enough, then you can go to the enemy base, basically. But what's really cool, though, is these little tiny robot guys that would help you out. And basically, from what I remember calling them, were little ants. And basically, these little robots would just come along with you and also help you to destroy the tower. So even if there's no players destroying a tower from up or down the level of the map, these little robots would basically try and destroy the tower for you. And eventually, as the... I guess the timer goes by because I'm pretty sure each round has like a timer. Those little robots would become big and sometimes there would be bigger ones that would actually do way more damage and it would help you out a lot. I guess I also forgot to mention the upgrades you can do with your character. In the entrance of where your base is, there's an upgrade system which is where you can upgrade your character to give your character more strength or even give your character more abilities. The abilities can also give you some debuffs and upgrades and so on and so forth. Uh, it's the, the whole schmuck, basically. I don't know if anyone else back then had friends that actually played this game with them, but when I was younger, I didn't have anybody to play this game with because I remember when I saw this game as like just the cover of the game and thought it was it looked kind of cool. I just played it by myself and then just grinded the crap out of it, and I even played online all the all the time because really the game was mostly just about playing online. And the reason why I do call it almost an esportsy game is because of just the style of it. Because it's, it almost could be almost like a, 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 I almost had a stroke. The game could almost be an esports game, and I'm pretty sure this this style of the game also sort of reminds me of those Dota games or whatever. It, what I don't know why I'm saying Dota. I, I I'm, I'm thinking of the Dota game, but you know what I'm talking about, like those, like those freaking League of Legends games where you have to like defend and. What can what 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 gameplay is that? I forgot what's it called again. I don't know why I just call it Dota. But you know what I mean. Like you basically defend or attack, and you have to defend like your things or whatever. And this game has like those little wall tower things, 
And yeah. And if you win it, you would get the little chime uh, after you beat it. And the chime is really cool. Yeah. And most of the time, when I would get that defeat screen after my team loses, I almost shed a tear, bro. Well, every time I lose, I almost just shed a tear. I don't know what it was about it, but the defeat just sucks. When you get defeated in that game, it just sucks. It, feel, it just feels like they're just kicking you in dirt. It's awful. And now for the part that everyone has been asking for, and hopefully what everyone has been asking for, where is this game now? Where is the Awesome Knots? What happened to the Awesome Knots? Also, I completely forgot to say this for some reason, but uh, the game originally came out on the 360 at May 1st, 2012, which is uh, pretty, pretty old. And they also released another version of the Awesome Knots, which was called the Awesome Knots Assembled, which I'm pretty sure was like a definitive edition. I'm not really exactly sure what the Awesome Knots Assembled was, but, but basically what it was, I think it was just like a remastered version-ish of the game which came out in September of 2016 on the Xbox One, which I actually did bought that game when I first saw the Xbox One, which was awesome. Was it very, uh, 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 what, what do you call it? Like, I guess, was it very open with a lot of people? I guess, but sometimes when I play that game a lot, there'd be like a couple of active people on there, but usually when you find a match on that game nowadays on the awesome Nuts assemble there isn't really a lot of people well at least from back then when i played it also i'm just literally now watching the gameplay they're not even walls <laughs> they were turrets <laughs> i'm so stupid for some reason on my mind when i did when i wasn't even looking at some gameplay of this game for the first time in like forever i just now realized it's turrets it's not walls. I thought for some reason they were walls or something with like little guys shooting at you. But I forgot that it was just like a giant turret that was just shooting at you constantly if you try to break it. Which I completely forgot about. Anyways, where is this game now? Um, like with current, at least like with current like consoles or at least on Steam. Well, unfortunately on Steam from what I saw and I can also show you guys right now. Basically, from what I'm seeing, is recently at this around this. I think it was just around December and maybe even January. That's where I mostly hear from these new replies from. I think the servers of the. I think the servers of this game got shut down as of recently, which I did not know about this. Uh, and apparently, there was there's. I've, I've seen a couple people in the in the replies of the Steam version of the game saying to please, please for the devs to come back on this game. Which is very, which really makes me upset. It makes me feel old, honestly. It makes me feel very old. I don't like it. But do I think they should come back to this game? Honestly, I don't really know. I thought this game was okay. For at least for me, I thought this game was alright. Right? I mean, I don't hate this game. I think the game was fine when I played it a long time ago. But do I do I need them to come back to to work on this game? I don't really think so anyways, um, maybe if they make like a remastered of this game or something, something like that, I don't really know. I'm not really sure how they're going to work on this game again, uh, which kind of makes sense. I mean, I guess it kind of does make sense with the whole like shutting down the servers, so I'm not really sure how they're going to be working with that, but like I said, I, I, kinda can, I can kind of see why they would shut down the servers because this game is... Just kind of dead. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of like real players that are playing this game now because if you try to join the server back then, you'd only get like a couple of people, and that'd be kind of upsetting. So, but from my experience, I thought the game was pretty fun. I will say. Before I end this video off, I will say briefly that I apologize if at the start of this video it was kind of sloppy. This is kind of my first time doing this series. I mean, hence why this is going to be the first ever episode of this series, and I apologize for that greatly. Um, I'll try and do better later. I'll try and do my best. But obviously, from the gameplay that I just showed you, and I will be, and I will credit the person in the comment section, or not comments, but in the description down below. I'll obviously, um, I'll obviously try and give credit to the person to the person that I'm showing the gameplay, but. I couldn't play the game, and I wish I could because I needed some gameplay for myself. But then I thought, you know what? I kind of just need like someone to play the game anyway, so I can just find some gameplay somewhere. And I did, but unfortunately, I couldn't play it because of the servers. And I didn't want to buy the game. The game, I, there is a free-to-play version, but I'm not really sure how that works. But again, I don't know. 
But once again, I'm very sorry for the sloppy uh, intro of this of this video. It was really bad. I literally like did I literally did like so many retakes of this just to adjust my mic because I was doing a commentary video for something else, and then what happened was I had to delete that video because my mic was really quiet. And I now just fixed it, so hopefully it's not too loud, but if it is, then I can just adjust it at some point, but either way, you know. The little thing that I was using to, like, muffle out my sound for, like, my mic, it made it kind of worse. I didn't, and I didn't really notice that until I was checking my voice, and it was kind of making it a little bit worse. So having that off kind of makes it better, but, yeah, uh, <laughs> note to self, I guess. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if there's anything you want me to improve. Um anything really i mean i don't really read scripts on any of my videos that's kind of like my jam uh but i probably should at some point thank you guys for watching hope you guys all have enjoyed and i hope you all get all you guys have had an amazing weekend afternoon evening uh morning whatever go eat a sandwich and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out